guys, Glory is back with another game haul and this is a car boot special. Now for a couple of years uh, I haven't even been to car boot so this is a one off thing. Started collecting my games and hauling and we heard about this one, it's over in Misham. It's one of the biggest car boots, it was huge so we went over to check it out and this is what we got. First up, Lemons on the PSP. Now I have this game on the Atari ST and the PlayStation already. Um, but it was probably one of the first games I ever played um, and got into as a, as a kid. Uh, it was great on the ST, using your mouse and that to tell your lemons where to go. So I picked that up for a pound, didn't haggle too much. I was, it was the first of the day, I didn't think we were expecting to get much. We did. Um, so I picked that straight up for a pound. Great start, it's got the manual in there, it's good condition. So yeah. Now second up, this is the boy, probably the most expensive one I bought in the day. Um, but I think it was worth it. This game is worth far more than what I paid for it. I paid £10. I haggled him down a little bit for it. He did want £15. Um, Crash Bandicoot. Black label on the original PlayStation. So, yeah. And the best thing about this was, when I opened it up, it says there's supposed to be a demo with it. Because it's one of the first ones. Um, it's got the manual in it. Pristine condition. The game's there. Which is great. This are in great condition. Instead of the demo, it actually has Crash Bandicoot 2 in there. So I have the second game as well for that tenor. Uh, now I already have this game, so I'm going to be looking at probably trading it in and getting some money back, which makes this even cheaper. Um, I've got some spare cases, I'll pop it in there. I know we won't have the main left in bit. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be worth a bit of money, which is going to knock this down and make this an even better bargain. So yeah, second game of the day. Crash Bandicoot, great pickup. Then moving on, we found a, a lady that had quite a lot of games to be fair, a lot of original Xbox, PlayStation and PlayStation 2 games and some Wii games. Uh, I think she also had some DS games but weren't looking at them too much. Um, however she wanted £3 for all the Xbox and the PlayStation games, which at the time I thought was probably a bit too much. I've been picking them up for like 50p a quid so and she weren't moving on the price at all. She was like adamant, she's like these sell, so I'm not dropping the price, so fair enough. Um, I did pick one up which I'd not seen anywhere else and it's gonna be worth more than three pounds anyway. Um, and it's such a good game, it's one of my favourites series. I've not played this one yet. Legacy of Kane Defiance oh, on the original Xbox. Love me some Reze Allen Key. Great games. Um, it's got the manual in there, it's a little bit like beat up but it's not too bad um, great great game I don't think it plays on the 360 though so I've been playing it on my original Xbox and then the next one we hit up got a PlayStation 2 game Pirates of the Caribbean uh, Legend of Jack Sparrow pick this up 20p 20p <laughs> so yeah pick that up uh, it's got the manual in the, the disc in there it's brand new like the box has been touched so for 20p that's great, it's a co-op game, so and it has the voice of Johnny Depp in it as well, which is always a bonus. Now <laughs> I picked up a game for a console I don't even own yet. Um, the girlfriend does have this console, so we're gonna be getting it over to my house and trying out these games and setting it up. Um, so it's a Wii game and it's Sonic and the Secret Rings. So this costs uh, just a pound. So yeah, like some Sonic games. It's got the manual in there, brand new, um, which is great. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. We now have a Wii game in the collection, another one started. Now next up, um, I came across a guy who had a, a few bits and bobs. Um, I picked up two games from him. Now he wanted, I think it was a pound each of these, but I managed to get them both for £1.50. Um, so that was good. We got Prince of Persia Revelations on the PSP. Now the case does have a few marks on it, like sticker marks, so it shouldn't be too bad to get those off. Um, as it's manual and everything in there, so that's good. Try that out. I've never really got into the Prince of Persia games, so I could pick some of them up and give them a go. And the second one, just because it was only worked out at 75p, um, it's a Bioshock Metal Tin. However, I already have this on the 360. This is the Games for Windows version, so the PC version. Um, I don't have a PC that will probably run this, but for 75p, I picked it up because if I don't get around to playing it either on somebody else's PC or whatever, uh, I'm just going to trade it in and sell it on. You can get way more than 75p for this, the steel book version. Um, it's in great condition, the book's not been touched, it looks brand new. There are some marks around the edges of the case, um, 
but yeah, 75p. <sighs> Pick that up. Next one up is an original Xbox game. Uh, this only cost me a pound as well, and it's Fable and the Lost Chapters. Now, I have Fable on the original Xbox, just the normal one that first came out. This is the version, it's classic version, but it's got all the DLC that came out at the time. Now, when I had my original Xbox, I wasn't online, so I didn't get any of that DLC. Um, so I picked this up, just to have another Fable game, and try these Lost Levels. Uh, manual and everything in there, great condition. It's only a quid, so we now have the last chapters to play. And another Fable game, another Xbox One for the collection, so that was nice. Now, at the end of the day, there was a guy that turned up late, and he had a massive game collection. All he was selling was games and some consoles. He knew what he was talking about. He had the consoles were all wrapped in cellophane, so they didn't get dust and stuff and water in there, which was great. Um, just every, almost every console you can imagine, um, game-wise, for games. Um, just spread out in this huge area. He had some original NES games. He had the original uh, Mario on the NES. I nearly picked up, but I don't have my NES yet. However, he said he was going to sell his NES um, fully boxed in good condition. And I've given him his, my number, and hopefully he's going to get to me with a price like NES, and we're going to be picking that up. However, the games we did get off him, uh, there was one other game I was going to get from him. Um, but when I opened it up, the disc wasn't in there. And as he said, he has got a folder with all loose discs in it and he thinks he's left it in there. So he's gonna hopefully, if we see him again, pop the disc in and we're gonna pick that up. It was um, XCOM, the Bureau. Uh, it was in great condition. It was like a special edition one. I was going, I couldn't get it at the time, but we'll probably be getting that. So once we did get Bubble Bobble Evolution on the PSP. I love me some Bubble Bobble. Got the manual in there, great condition. Um, we got Garden Warfare, the first Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare on the Xbox One. Now this one doesn't have the actual manual in it, it has the sub manual in it. Um, because it's such a common game, we can easily pick a manual up for that. That's no big deal. Um, because we'd already picked one Wii game up, we went for another one. We've got Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles on the Wii. Uh, again, manual, great condition. Um, so we picked that up. and. The first one we've seen, oh, we've got Dark Souls 2 Steelbook Edition. And, oh, it's just in perfect condition. There's not a mark on it. The book is brand new, not even been opened. We've got the disc and the soundtrack in there. So, just a great, great pickup. Now, he wanted £10 for the Dark Souls, £5 for the Resident Evil. £12 for the Plants vs Zombies and I believe £5 for the Bubble Bubble. Now, I still see if we can get a deal if we put all of them together. Um, at first, I think he wanted, oh, I can't remember, it was £30, £35. Um, but a bit of haggling, we were talking to the guy for ages, he's a nice guy. We got him down to £28 for all four, which isn't too bad um, for what we got there. Steelbook and an Xbox One game. So, happy with them. That's our car boot haul. Now, after the car boot, because it's early in the morning, we had a bit of time. We popped over to town, uh, looked in the game store, and because we picked some Wii games up, we went looking at some Wii games. So, we picked a few more up. It had a deal on, which was three for two. Um, the ones we picked up were two ninety nine dollars each. Um, well, two for two ninety nine dollars and one for 99 p I tried to find another 2 99 game, so I could have a more expensive one for free and then I was going to buy the 99p one separate just to work it out, but I couldn't really find any, so I ended up getting the 99p one free, but it's a free game, so yeah, 6 quid for 3 games. The games we've picked up, I've heard a lot of good things about this, Cold Mountain, uh, sorry, Cursed Mountain <laughs> on the Wii, kind of a survival horror game, um, great condition. Uh, there is, they did have a sticker on the book which I tried to get off and it's ripped the book a little bit, forgot about that, but everything else is perfect. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. Um, now I've heard there's a lot of good light gun games on the Wii, which is why I've started collecting for it, because I love my light gun games. Uh, in the arcades, first thing I go to, and then on all my other consoles I've got pretty much all the arcade light gun games on those consoles with the light guns. Um, so yeah, we started picking up some for the Wii and we've got House of the Dead. Overkill, it's supposed to be the best uh, like game on the Wii, so we're going to give that a go. 
again manual pristine condition and ghost squad this is awesome in the arcade and this is the 99p one um, so just to pick this up on its own would have been great so we've got the manual in there again pristine condition so we got that one free uh, even though it was only 99p like I say and now we have five Wii games already started with that collection and we're going to be keeping our eye out for some more and building that up as we go. There is our car boot special game haul for this week. Hope you've enjoyed. Hit the like button. Any comments and things you want to know about what we picked up, pop them down in the comments and subscribe for future videos. We're going to do a lot more hauls and hunting so look out for those and we'll see you next time. Cheers guys. Bye.